Ew, gross. You substitution. Um, all right, so first, uh, I just want to work on you substitution, so I'm going to not do a definite integral here. I'm just going to do an indefinite integral, so that has no numbers on it. How do you integrate this guy? Now, you know when you have to do u substitution when you see multiplication inside of the integrand. I think that's what it's called. Um, <clears throat> I see multiplication there. I see functions inside of functions. And so we're going to do uh, the opposite of the chain rule. So this is exactly the opposite of the chain rule. Well, the strategy uh, requires a little bit extra uh, work. But anyways, your first job is to figure out what the heck u equals. u is going to equal whatever is uh, in the most inside or what is whatever is the most inside function. Most of the time you can follow this rule on most of the problems where you need u substitution uh, like this one right here. So the most inside function is going to be uh, x to the third plus one. You see we have a, a square root right here. We have an x squared right here, which is another function. We also have this guy in uh, the x to the third plus one. He is inside the x squared. So my guess is, is that the u is going to equal that. If it doesn't equal that, that's okay. We can go back and we can try a different u. Um, but after you find that, what you're going to do is you're going to take the derivative with respect to x to both sides. And so I'm going to take the derivative of this thing right here with respect to x of both sides. Uh, the derivative of u is just 1, but then I'm going to have a du over dx. And then I take the derivative of the other side, which is going to be a 3 uh, times x to the second power, and the constant, the 1, just goes away. And so this is what my du dx equals. Um, now, because... Uh, we're doing this in Leibniz notation mostly because now I can, it looks like what I can do now is multiply both sides by dx and you get du equals 3x squared dx. So it's like I multiply both sides by dx. And so I have what u equals and I have what dx equals. This is very important because we're going to use these now. Our job now is to take this, this problem and take out everything that has an x. Hopefully, if we did, if we chose the right u, we'll be able to sub all the x's out and have u's in there instead. Okay? Okay. So I'm looking at this and I see for sure I can take out the x to the third plus one and I could put u into it. And so um, I'm going to write extra stuff, guys. You probably wouldn't do this when you solve the problem, but I'm just trying to make sure that you guys can follow me. So I could take out the inside and I could put u in there. Um, and we're closer to having no more x's. We still have some x's though. We have a dx right here and we have an x squared. Over here, we have a du equals 3x to the second power. I see that we have an x squared and a dx right here. We just need to not have that 3. So what we can do is we can multiply both sides by 1 third to this guy. This is one way to do it, by the way. I know there's others. And I have an x squared dx. Now, this is like multiplication right here. So I could just reorder this. You don't have to do this, but I'm helping you see where we have an x squared dx. Now I have that x squared dx right there. I could take him out. But when I plug in uh, what x squared dx equals, I have a scalar attached to my du. The scalar can be brought out of the integral, and he can chill on the outside and wait till you do your integrating with everything else. So I just took this out. Oops, yeah, I took that out. I took x squared dx out, and I put in 1 third du. See, 1 third du. Now I just integrate like usual. And so if this was like a, a, a usual problem, hopefully, uh, you know how to do this already, you would have the 1 third out there. Actually, let's make it look a little more complicated since we're practicing. Um, the 3 would be right there, and you have du right here. Maybe it looks like that. It looks all complicated. But what you can do here is you can manipulate it a little bit to make it look more attractive by taking out the one third, and then you have u raised to the one half power du. And so the first thing you do is you add one to the one half, and then you divide by whatever you get. Uh, so one half um, plus one. And so this is what we got now. We have one third times, uh, that would be u to the three over two, and then on the bottom, we would have 3 over 2. So this would really be, see, it's 3 over 2, which we can rewrite instead, like multiply by the reciprocal. 
and have 2 over 3. Okay, so it's 1 third times 2 over 3, and then don't forget your plus C. You always got a plus C when you do the antiderivative. And so my final answer I'm going to write is, uh, yeah, let's do it like this. Go 1 times 2, and then 3 times 3, which is 9. And then we have U chilling out after that, so it's 3 over 2, and then just plus C. So I go 1 third times this, that changes the 2 uh, and the 9, so we get 2 ninths. Um, and then the C just stays constant, it's just another constant. So um, that's your answer, that's how you use U substitution.